I'm here at Picnic and I'm going to talk to Martin. He's a user experience evangelist from Microsoft and he's going to talk us through the Microsoft services table. So, hi Martin. Hi. And this is the table. Okay, so talk us through. Okay, so this is uh, Microsoft Surface. You can see it's, uh, it's a table that's not without reason. It's for making sure that people work together and that's what you normally do around the table. Now this is what we call a natural user interface uh, because you're just using your hands and objects. No keyboard, no mouse. Uh, it starts with, uh, with this, with uh, water. This is for a reason because most of the people don't want to touch something because they were taught as a kid not to touch anything because it's not yours. Okay. So now it starts with water, so you start touching it. Then in the corners you see some buttons light up. Yeah, and when I press this one, we go to the menu of Surface. Now by default, uh, to, to start with, this is something you probably know, is um, to handle photos in the pictures in a touch environment. So you can enlarge them, make them smaller, but of course, multiple at the same time, or you can flick through photos or whatever. Now the special of, of Surface is that you don't only have touch or multi-touch, but it can actually look through the screen and see objects. So let me do it with this one. This is an application that could be used for instance by a doctor. Now I have a tag here, which is just a piece of carton, so no RFID with a tag. And Surface can read this tag. So when I place it on the table, you see that uh, the application responds to it. So in this case, the doctor logs in and he can look through all his patients and maybe select the patient, get some information from that uh, patient. Well. Now, when the patient comes, the patient can put his or her tag also on the, on the table. So you see the patient signing in. Now this is my vault, so for the patient, this is the vault for the doctor, for that particular patient. So in this case, he um, it made a, a long picture for, of the patient, so he can discuss that it's not too good or it's very good, whatever. And it can even pass it along to the, uh, to the patient, so you can see it on a website or get it by email or something like that. Um, there are some various things in here, for instance, um, this is an MRI scan, so you can set the number of frames per second to see the, the actual scan, or you can browse back, and maybe you, well, this is a problem, or, or this is not a problem, that could be the case as well. Now, so you have different kind of in, uh, types of information you can pass along to the, to the patient. For instance, in this case, this is a, a document, maybe this is about the disease or the procedure he has to, uh, he has to take, and of course you can give it to the patient as well. And you have another 3D model of the human body here, but have some uh, multiple views on it, so maybe you want to look at the skeleton or at the, uh, at the organs or uh, well, etc. So you can give some more information to, to patients. So now you see it's a combination of uh, high graphics, 3D, uh, touch, uh, objects, and this makes Surface uh, well, unique. Um, in, in the use of it and the appliance for it. Great, and is this just a prototype or have you started no. mass producing them? Yeah, so you can uh, actually buy it now in, I think it's in 13 or 14 countries in the world. Uh, we started in January also in Europe uh, with 11 countries uh, where you can buy the table. How much, how much would it cost? Uh, so in Europe it costs uh, 11,000 euros for the commercial model and 13,000 euros for the developer model. And what's the difference? Uh, the difference is that you get software with it to develop certain software for service. I see. And who's been taking you up? Um, who's been buying it? Uh, well, already a lot of partners. Uh, so uh, companies who want to develop software for it, but also uh, companies who want to use it within their own organization. For instance, for discuss discussing um, uh, results or something. So you have a real discussion model, but also still have the technique for showing information on the computer screen. Um, 
So it's it's various in the entertainment or in healthcare or in libraries or museums or in stores. Okay. And here you can see it in, in all kind of locations. And is it is all like is it a big kind of um, is it difficult for hospitals, for example, to implement this as regards their internal networks of infrastructure? No, because underneath it is just a, a PC with okay. Windows, Windows Vista. So okay. you have a normal uh, network and all the things you can do with a PC. So 11,000 doesn't seem that much for it at all. No. And over the next year, does it cost you to come down quite significantly, do you think? Or is it about two years before you start to see big I difference? have no idea what the plans are yeah. for that. Yeah, perfect. Well, to see that. Cool. Well, Thank you. Welcome.